Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Oh, now. That's it, Roach. Ooh. Not so fast, Roach. So you're that white oh. one. If only you what was that about? We're getting tossed in the tavern. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Farewell. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. 
A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Next one's come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black ones smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I've not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her. All right, all right. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. Gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. 
Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want a rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. I step in the hood, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think of himself. I say, Tommy. Post. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inky. Hmm. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me what you got. Baron's not from around here, right? He's Tamarian, but from other parts. Folk say he deserted along with his company. Showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. So they took the old Lord's castle, and the Baron became master of Crow's Perch. Reckon once the Blackens feel sure they hold the land, They'll let him keep Crow's Perch. Give him a true title. Bloody Baron. How'd he get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, some Blackens had holed up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out, but the Baron's an hasty one. Attacked straight away. The Blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye and ran into the river. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood, that the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, he'd massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. But far fewer heard that story. You've got a young daughter, Grams. Oh no. Search where you were. One of these guys. You'll not hide her in time. Hear me? And you'll watch every lad in the unit shag her senseless. That everything? Is that all you've got? It's all. I swear on the devil's grave, sir. Here. Eat some. It's like you can't bleep. But I'm not used to any of it if you start to death. Go, go.
the hunger. You've punished us enough. Huh? What's that you want? <laughs> 